Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a surprise opening actually for me personally. I wasn't expecting it to actually come out this week, but we do have Topps 2020 Series 2 Baseball with Mike Trout on the front. Tried and true Mike Trout, can't go wrong. Especially because, I mean, who knows if they would pick anyone from this year because there hasn't been a season yet, but they are starting. I have heard they're going to start doing baseball at the end of July. So everyone get excited, baseball is back. And I think it should be fun. But right now we have a hobby box. Our jumbos are coming in later, so I'm not able to do an opening right now. We don't have them. But we do have hobbies and jumbos available. We have switched our store. We have our card shop located in Pennells Park, Florida. We are a physical card shop, not just online. But if you're in the area, we have switched back to just curbside for the time being because of everything going on in Pinellas. So if you're interested in boxes and you're local, you can come pick them up. Or... If you want a personal break, I will get these listed on the website later today. So if you want to see some Top Series 1, you want me to open up one for you tomorrow night live, you can get that ordered right now, probably. Link down in the description down below. But I'm sure you all are here just to see this. Now, it does still have the look for winning tickets to the celebration of the decades. Not sure what they're going to do about that event with everything going on. But it'd be cool to get one. I mean, I would definitely not complain if we opened up one of the golden tickets. But let's... Let me just quit talking and get into it. Because I'm excited to see what's in here. Like, what are they even putting... What are they even putting in Series 2 Baseball? One way to find out, and that's by snapping me into the corner and getting right on into it. Now, please let me know if I do miss something that is a photo variation, because I really do not know what these cards are going to be looking like. Usually photo variations are, you can tell, because they're like, you know, if it's someone in like a suit versus like something you would expect them like doing baseball-wise. But I will try and take a peek at the back of anything I find that looks a little off to see if the number is different. But definitely let me know if I miss anything like that. And uh, We do have the box topper, the hobby box topper with the chrome, the chrome pack. So let's check that out, see what they got in here. There's a little advertisement for the home run challenge. But we have a uh, Shogo Akiyama. I also don't know what rookies are in this product. Should have asked with my boss on that one before I got started. Not sure we should be looking out for them. But we have a Yadier Molina here, purple. That is not numbered, purple not numbered, all right. And AJ Puck, rookie here. And then just the uh, National Baseball Card Day is August 8th. And uh, there's the Home Run Challenge ones. Well, these are the chrome cards. Let me sleeve up that purple one just because it is a very nice color. It wasn't numbered, which I'm surprised. Oh, it is numbered. All right, I just didn't see it. I am blind. 7 of 75. I'm like, there's no reason that a purple should not be numbered. But yeah, out of 75, Yadder Molina for the Cardinals. Put that right on top there. Let's get into pack number one. So things to watch out for, of course, are like the winning tickets, the golden tickets, any parallels, black parallels, especially of a rookie. That would be cool to get. We actually did open up a box and got a black rookie parallel out of series one. I'm actually going to pull out the rookies that I noticed that way. If anyone's like, hey, you didn't pull that out, be like, oops. But yeah, let me just pull out Chris Bryant here, looking a little, ending in 99. What does this one end in? Ends in 99. All right, so that is not a photo variation, even though it looks a little action-y. And then, okay, we have an insert here. What is this? Uh, Warriors of the Diamond, Wade Boggs. WOD 50, okay. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the baseball, the return of baseball? You know, what do you think about how they got the tiny season? It is a tiny, tiny baseball season. I mean, I, I always feel like, you know, the boss is like 66 games. I'm like, oh, that's a lot of games. But then when you think of like how many games of baseball like usually even happens, it's like so much shorter. I'm wondering what like the format of it's going to be. Right, we have Mike Stramski of that 35th anniversary insert. But yeah. Like, it's hard for me to watch baseball because the games are usually very long. But, like, I'll always watch the World Series. So it'll be interesting to see, like, how everything happens this year. With that tiny, tiny season. We have not hit any color parallels yet, but we're only a couple packs in. We have the 35th anniversary Clayton Kershaw. And you do get one autograph or relic card in every box. 
And that reminds me, because it is a TOPS product, it'll be easily to, easily available for me to see. I'll show you all the NPN information if you want to send away for a pack, or not a pack, just like one card. I'll do that next pack. Check that out. Ninety nine. All right, we have a gold parallel here. Kevin Gosman for the Giants it was eight seventy seven out of twenty twenty. I'll sleeve that one up. Let's check for that NPN information. This is the no purchase necessary information. You just mail away. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, except Quebec. All right, this is a bit. All right, let me hold it right there. You know, for any of the cards at the same odds, you put an envelope, pull three x five index card in a number ten envelope, and you mail it to NPN twenty twenty tops BB series two NPN group S, PO box five zero one three Scranton Pennsylvania eight one eight five zero five, and only one card per envelope must be postmarked by September sixteenth and received by September twenty third one per household and that'll just get you one card at all the same odds listed so in theory you could get an autograph plate relic one of one in theory probably not probably just get a base card but if you are you feel up to it it's free <laughs> but some people have asked me to show that so i try when i remember i know tops does have it probably panini and upper deck would too i would think you know it'd be like it's not gambling look you don't have to buy anything but um i have a sheldon noose rookie card here we have the Decades Best, Zach Reinke, 2010s. Right, is that on there? Yeah. I'm just flipping over any images I feel like might be a uh, variation. If you're wondering what I'm doing here. Right, and a hard base card there. Brian O'Grady for the Rays. Garrett Cole. Chris Bryant. Checked out that Chris Bryant card earlier. But like I said, usually the variants you can tell very clearly, but sometimes they're a little bit blended in. We have Jonathan Daza for the Rockies. Rookie. The tops now of David Price and Mickey Betts. The tops now update. Insert set. And decades best, we have Sandy Koufax from the 1960s. have a this ends in 15 we have Bob Gibson uh, so it is a retro player so that is the I'm not sure if that is an SSP or just an SP but it is the it is a Bob Gibson the code does end in 115 so it is some sort of short print so that is cool I like that it was backwards let me know that was very very nice tops there to let me know that it was something special so that's cool Bob Gibson from the Cardinals I'm not going to put that in the numbered pile. I'll leave it for now. If we need more piles, I will combine that Bob Gibson with that Kevin Gosman. And we have a player of the decade, Mike Trout insert. This is a new insert. MT3. It looks like it might just be a Mike Trout insert set. It is numbered 85 out of 299. This is numbered insert. Okay, that's cool. It makes sense to have a Mike Trout insert set because he is on the box. We're still waiting on our hit here. We have a Josh Naylor gold parallel out of 2020, 1165 out of 2020, and a Gleyber Torres 35th anniversary insert. Yep, 
and it's just a Mike insert Mike Trout insert set player of the decade. This one is not numbered. So let's see. I'm guessing this is the black parallel because the background there is black compared to the white one here. And that one is numbered, this one is not. So I'm assuming this is the that was a black parallel. But that is a cool looking insert set. Not Mike Trout. This pack feels heavy. I think I'm just maybe imagining things. Right? I picked it up a little heavy. I was thinking maybe there'd be a relic in here, but it turns out I'm just, ooh, that is cool. What is that? Oh, that is cool. Uh, 2030. We have a Wee Robert rookie. That's a little RC stamp here. And a Topps 2030 insert. That's cool. I really like that. That's cool looking. That is. I'm gonna sleep that up. You know, it's just an insert. That is cool. And it is actually a rookie card, too. It has a little RC on it. If you want to see that again, don't worry. I will do a recap at the end of the video. Or if you blinked and you missed it, maybe you're just letting it run and you heard Lou Robert and you're like, what happened? And be like, don't worry. He's up there in the corner. I know the background is blurry. So we have the focus set to be able to see these cards up front nice and clear. But we'll take a look at it again. We have another of those tops now insert. Juan Soto, and 35th anniversary Austin Riley, David Bednar, rookie. We have another one of the 2030 inserts. This one is Cody Bellinger. That is cool though. I like the foiling on these. Do you think they're going to make a 2020 update set this year with the season starting so late and being so short? What is really going to be their update? I'm interested to see what Topps does about that. I know update is usually one of the highlights of the year for baseball. If Juan Soto, because you get to see rookies that were anticipated but hadn't played yet, perhaps in for series one or series two. Sometimes you get rookie autos that weren't in other ones, other series as well. So update is cool, but who knows what they can even update? We have a Cal Quantrill. Silver foil, not numbered, but it is a silver foil parallel. And then Nolan Arenado of the 2020 2030 insert. Manual Cease, rookie. 35th anniversary, Paul Goldschmidt. Brian O'Grady, rookie. I don't know why these Mike Trout inserts. This one is number 18. Ooh, so that's a big insert set. Six packs left to go, and still waiting on a one autograph or relic card. Jack Mayfield, rookie. Milwaukee Braves, decades best, 1950s. We have a Louis Robert rookie card. That is nice. First top series rookie. I mean, he had the rookie in uh, opening day. This is like the flagship tops rookie. That's cool. I'll make sure I get that sleeved up after I'm finished with this pack. 35th anniversary, DJ LeMayhew. Should get a Robert rookie card. That was cool. I'll put that in its own pile. Yeah, why not? Four packs to go. Still waiting on our hit. Hopefully we did not get shorted to hit, but it looks like there's something here. 
It is kind of skinny, so it might just be a relic card. We have a black up oh, black parallel relic here of Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs 35th anniversary material out of 199. 97 out of 199. 1985 Tops and Baseball Relic Card from 2020 Tops and Baseball Series 1, Anthony Rizzo. We got a cool piece of Anthony Rizzo jersey in a Diamond Kings opening the other day for Daryl. It was pink. You all informed me it was from a Mother's Day weekend jersey. But it was cool. It was like pink jersey. That's interesting. This is just the regular blue with the Cubs. That is a black parallel. Put that with the Robert. The three packs to go. Searching for some more color. Just a silver foil and two golds in that one black insert. Aside from the relic, of course. But it'd be nice to get maybe like an Independence Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, things like that. Or, you know, a black Robert would do as well. <laughs> we have another silver foil here and a gold. We'll look at them together. We have Miguel Rojas for the Marlins and Rui Arez, Arez, the twins, perhaps. 1621 out of 2020, and these silver foils are not numbered. Two packs to go. Shogo Akiyama, rookie, and Seth Mejia's Breen. Rookie. Those were back to back earlier in another pack. Home Run Challenge of JD Martinez. Last pack here. Jake Frowley. Rookie. Not a short print, even though it looks interesting. Jonathan Daza. I feel like I may have missed a rookie or two, but I tried my best to pull them all out. And hey, we do have an Independence Day parallel. This one is of Manuel Margo for the Raids. These are out of 75. 61 of 76. Oh, 76. Duh, that makes more sense. 1776. And that is 61 of 76 for the Rays. And last two cards here. No rookies. But let me get this box out of the way. That way I can do a recap. That was cool. You know, of course, I like the design from Series 1. It's the same design in Series 2 find it enjoyable. This is a new insert, the Warriors of the Diamond. Just got one of those, Wade Boggs. The Mike Trout insert is new as well. Got two of those in the one black parallel. I also got one home run challenge in JD Martinez. The handful of the 35th anniversary inserts. Two, or three, excuse me, of the decade's best inserts. Continuing from series one. Also the tops now review or best of tops now, perhaps, because it's BTN. You know, series one was TNR, tops now review. And this is BTN, so I'll have to look up and see what that is. And also, there's the 2030, tops 2030 inserts. We did get the Robert, which I think is very cool. I love the designs on these cards, the sparkle, which I think is really, really appealing. And that is a new insert as well. And I, I give that big insert, that the insert, big, big thumbs up there. We also got this short print, or perhaps SSP of Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. The number here on the back is 115, and it was backwards in the pack, so that's how I know it is some kind of photo variation, aside from that numbering. For golds, we did get three golds, silver foils, we got two, one black, excluding the hit and the Independence Day, Manuel Margot for the Rays, Independence Day, black, Mike Trout insert, two foils, non-numbered, and these, the golds are out of 2020 this year, of course, because this 2020 series baseball. What did the Robert rookie do? Oh, it is underneath. It is attached to the Anthony Rizzo. We also got a Louis Robert rookie card. And then the black hit, black parallel, 97 of 199, Anthony Rizzo relic piece, 35th anniversary. And then this big pile of assorted rookies. For our Chrome box toppers, we did get the purple Yadier Molina out of 75. Purple looks really nice, too, in person. Again, I don't know why purple has such a hard time showing up the camera. It always looks more blue. But I promise the purple really, really sticks out in person. If I hold it right here, it's easy to see like around the border. Like that is what it truly looks like. I don't know why when I bring it closer, it looks more blue. 
but it is a very beautiful card. But this was this was a fun opening. I, I was still surprised that Series Two Baseball came out, but I'm sure with the with the announcement of a baseball season starting, that Tops was like, "All right, it's ready to go. Let's ship." But uh, yeah, this is cool. I really, really, really like these new inserts. The three new insert sets that I've seen, I really do like. The War of the Diamond, the Mike Trout one I think is cool, and of course this 2031 is gorgeous. So overall, I am pleased with this box. I thought it was fun. It was nice to get that photo variation, the Robert Bass. Would have asked for a better hit, but hey, it is numbered, so I can't complain too much. And these, like I said, these inserts are gorgeous. A nice stack of rookies too. Lots of rookies in this product. We even got a couple duplicates of rookies, so perhaps maybe you can open a box that has multiple Roberts in it. Who knows? But hopefully I get to open up some more this weekend. Like I said, I will be listing them on the website for personal breaks, or you can do curbside pickup if you're local. We will have hobbies and jumbos later today. We have hobbies right now, but jumbos are coming in the mail later via UPS, so we will have them. But that is it for me today. I have for actually openings. I will have one more bonus video. But that is it for me opening stuff. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Had a lot of variety today. New football, new baseball, new Magic the Gathering. Lots of cool things. I hope you had a good time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on Series 2 Baseball as well. I know I was asking for your thoughts on the season. But let me know your thoughts on this product. Thoughts about what Tops might do for update this year. I'm curious to hear because of course the only person I really talk sports with is my boss and also my dad. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well. You help me with more of the uh, like community aspect, whereas like I know more of the cards and the players. So definitely let me know. I'm always happy to hear your thoughts. But that is it for me today on openings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll catch you tomorrow night at 7.45 p.m. Eastern every Saturday night live streams. Or perhaps next week with more new product openings. But thank you for joining me. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!